Hello guys, KP Shamino here and today I'm going to show you guys in a quick movie uh, where you can find the pen fish in Oregon. It's the red breast sunfish and the pumpkin seed that uh, you can fish here. It's not complicated, it's very easy. So I'm going to show you guys really quick how you need to do it because some guys ask me where I can find the red breast sunfish. So I did some uh, research. It didn't took me more than 20 minutes, to be honest. And here is the, the movie and the stuff that I found. So first of all, uh, you need to go to Oregon. And you can fish on all the areas for panfish. So it's uh, not that there is one very sweet spot that you need to be the whole time, no. Uh, in each area you can get like each kind of panfish but some areas are a little bit better than other areas so first of all we are going to start in the mountain watcher in the mountain watcher what i see is that there is a lot of more red breast sunfish than pumpkin seed so what setup i'm using and you can keep the setup for all the areas so the telescopic uh the Telefloat 650 my Callisto XS 1400 reel. Uh, I'm using the Mono 0 0.2 uh, Sport Floater uh, Hook 6. Here you see it. And I fish with uh, wax worms because they work really well. And I'm not going to test like 20 kind of baits on panfish. That's not what I'm going to do. Wax worms uh, work really well, so just use them. And I'm using my depth is 200 centimeters. Why I'm taking 200 centimeters? Because if I went to the maximum, I had a lot of snag stuff going on. And the problem here is if you go with this setup, it breaks. You need to break it because you cannot get the pressure to unsnag uh, on the telescopic and with this low uh, line on it. So that's the setup. You can use it everywhere. So first of all, uh, we are in this area in the I think the mountain watcher or was it and the trick is if you want to go for panfish here in Oregon uh, If you see green crab in the water, you just need to fish near it That's that's all what you need to know And that was not so good, but I just did it I'm going to reel back in because I'm a little bit far so here you see uh, green weeds or green uh, moss in the water so what you need to do is you just throw close to it you reel a little bit in and you just wait and take it from me it's fun because they bite really fast and it's not complicated fishing it's not that you need to look there is already a fish on it that was a little bite so let's wait a little bit yeah here it comes just reel in it's not like big fish and here you can see this is the pumpkin seed so let's throw in again so this is a sweet spot so if you come in this area on the right you see the brown trout area you just go a little bit to the left here to the to the green crab you just throw near it and you just need to wait so let's wait a little bit i hope that i got now a red breast sunfish because i thought it was red breast that's the first pumpkin seed i got here i got like 10 red breasts so i was thinking this is an area for red breast but right in the movie I got something else on this area so let's see what the next fish is yep there is a bite again and you don't need to strike hard just reel in and you got the fish so he will uh, be incoming the next one yeah here we go reel in little strike just get the fish here oh that was a fat one Oh, it's a trophy. That's my first trophy. So you can uh, get trophies from here too. Okay, that was it for this area. Let's go now to the next area. That was a sweet spot a little bit to the left. We are going to... Uh, no, I want to go first to Trout Lair. Because there you got like three nice spots. So here in front of me you got green. Here at the right you got green. And here at the left. What I saw was that here at the left is the best spot. So here you see the green again, so just throw in front of you and you just need to wait. And you will see I didn't need to change my setup, it's 
the 200 centimeters uh, work everywhere so now we are going to wait again Let's hope we get a bite. Yeah, there is the bite. Reel in, strike a little bit. And it's once again a pumpkin seed. Okay, let's throw in again. Like, uh, as you guys can see, it's uh, it's really fun. Yeah, fun. I It's not really fun, but you catch a lot of fish. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Because I, I don't like to fish on panfish. I'm just fishing on panfish at the moment to make this movie but if you guys want to do like uh, like an achievement for the panfish because there is an achievement of course too it gives nice experience it gives nice money so that's always handy and it's easy to do so uh, you need to get a certain amount of fish and then you get the, the achievement Okay, this is a pumpkin sea too. Okay, this was uh, that area. You can fish over here too. And now we are going to the area that gives the most chance for red breast. So uh, that's here, a waterfall cascade. So just go over there. You just jump on the rocks here. And here you see, once again, some green stuff in the water. Just throw at it. Okay. And you need to wait a little bit. So I didn't need to change the setup again. So it's just very handy one setup. And you can just go from area to area. It, I think it's just uh, what you like the most. Like here is very cool because you got like a waterfall behind you. So uh, it's maybe... And you hear the water if you got your uh, sound on. There is another fish. And here you see it's the red breast sunfish. So this area is, you got the most chance to get him. I only got red breast here. So the, on the waterfall, let's do another try just to be sure. So that I can show you guys. All the fish uh, disappeared. It's possible that I got them all, maybe. Come on, red breast. Give me one more that I can uh, make an end on the movie. Yeah, it seems that they don't want to bite anymore. Maybe it's uh, it's it's the time, because I'm at the moment fishing in a cloudy weather, and maybe they bite a little bit better in the morning, because it's now almost eight o'clock in the morning. I'm going to reel in again and uh, go again. Get my speed a little bit higher. Okay, let's have another try. I think that was a little bite, or was it me that was? Yeah, I think it. I I did it myself with putting some tension on the line.
Yeah, it seems that uh, that the sweet hour is uh, is done. So uh, I didn't got now two or three throws in without a bite. So I hope this one is going to work. Ah, here is a bite. Okay, that was good. Okay, and another red breast sunfish. I'm going to watch really quick what uh, what uh, the time was because it's possible. No, it uh, it's the the sweet time of the day still need to come. So it was maybe just unlucky. But that was it for this movie, guys. So not complicated. Here you can see you can put a lot of fish in a net of 70 kilograms. But here you see, I tried a little bit the blood worms too, but that's of course gold uh, money. But just go with the wax worms, I showed you the positions. Thanks for watching guys, have fun in Fishing Planet and see you later. I'm off to my most favorite fish, the unique walleye. I hate that fish so hard, but I want to catch him. So, wish me luck and see you later, bye bye.